GTA Online Los Santos Drug Wars is here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it'll be here in two days. Well, technically, it'll be here in one and a half days, but we'll get to that here in a little bit, uh, going over the time schedule for this. So wherever you are in the world, you'll know exactly what time this is going to drop. But either way, we have a new DLC, and what does that mean? It means we're going to need money. Typically, when they release these DLCs, it's basically a money sink. They want all of this money that's been occurred in this game, whether legitimately or unlegitimately. They want it to be absorbed by content. So how much is it gonna cost? How much are you gonna need? How much are you gonna have to just grind for the next 24 hours? Well, no fear. I can't imagine it's gonna be like that right off the bat. So let's go over this. The Diamond Casino Resort. To buy everything in the Diamond Casino Resort DLC, honestly, it was around 60 million. But that included everything, including the cars, tattoos, clothing, vehicles, businesses, or buildings, I should say, penthouse, all of the interior decorations, all of that came up to around 60 million. But no one's gonna do that. But even if you are somebody that wants to do that, you don't need to worry in this DLC because this, the Rockstar themselves have said, this is a massive DLC, and the way they're doing it is they're trickling it down. So what that means is essentially we're gonna get the initial launch of the DLC in like 24 hours from now. And that's gonna come with some vehicles, the initial business, things like that. And then over the next few months, we're gonna slowly trickle in some more vehicles that is part of this DLC. Maybe some more businesses or upgrades and things like that that go hand in hand with this DLC. But basically, to buy everything in this DLC, it's gonna be over the span of about four months anyway. So that makes this video, what do you need initially? What do we need when this comes out on Tuesday? Well, let's get into that. So before we go into the details of how much money you're gonna need, let's go over the time zones. When is this DLC gonna be released? When are you gonna need the money for? So feel free to pause this. I'm gonna put this up on screen right here. Um, this goes over the time zones for where you are. Obviously, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it can be a little confusing because even where I live on the west coast of California, it, it is pretty confusing because you can see there's a time zone there for 2 a.m., 4 a.m., but for me, it's actually 3 a.m. So to make it a little bit easier for you guys, I've made this little graphic. Don't judge me. I'm not professional, but hopefully this will help you a little bit. So like I said, feel free to pause this if you uh, want to take a little look real quick, and then let's continue on with the video. So how much money are we going to need for the Los Santos Drug Wars? And I think I have a pretty solid answer for you. And I think I have a pretty decent reason behind that too that I'm going to get to in a minute. But I feel very confident in how much money I'm going to tell you you're going to need for this update. But first and foremost, it would be stupid of us not to look back at some of the other businesses. Obviously, if we go to the clubhouses, which is the MC business, you could purchase these for fairly cheap, but then they come with the additional businesses, the five additional businesses we all know with the counterfeit cash and then the labs and all of those things that I'm not going to say by name, but you know what I'm talking about. All of those businesses, including the clubhouse, you're looking at around 10 million. Now, if we go to the bunkers, which is one of my favorite businesses in the game, it's been playing in the background here during this video. For this business, obviously, you're looking at around 2 million, 2.5 million for the actual business itself. And then you have to do all the upgrades, right? You have the staff upgrades, the equipment upgrades, the security upgrades. All in all, you're looking to spend probably closer to 5 million. And then one of the big things that come with this business was the mobile operations center which again to purchase that fully upgrade it you're looking at closer to five million so that means if you wanted to buy the bunker and fully upgrade it with the additional vehicles that came with this dlc like the mobile operations center you're looking at closer to 10 million now if we look at another one which is a pretty decent comparison i think we're going to have it could be very similar to the new business but maybe not that is going to be the nightclub now the nightclub you're looking at close to just under two million to purchase this thing and then obviously Obviously, with the nightclub, you have all of the upgrades that come with it. I'm not talking about just visual. I'm talking about the staff upgrades, the equipment upgrades, the security, all of those things like all the other businesses. So with that in mind, you're looking at close to 5 million. Now, the unique thing about the nightclubs was the underground, the delivery vehicles, right? So you purchase these vehicles separate and then you could fully upgrade them and they are stored in your nightclub. And to do that, you're looking at close to, guess what? 5 million. So you get the point that I'm making. A lot of these past businesses, if you want to purchase the business and then fully upgrade it and get the additional parts that come with the business, like the nightclub vehicles or the mobile operations center for the bunker or the five MC businesses, you're looking at 10 million. 
Now, the reason this number is so important is because think about this, right? Rockstar Games knows that when they do DLCs, they bring in a ton of new people. There's more new players in the game during DLC drops than any other time. And they know a lot of people are going to be either joining the game new or it's going to be people that haven't played for a while, but they're coming back to play this new DLC. And they're going to be like, oh, I need money for the DLC. How much, how much money do I need to buy this business and start playing this business? So that's why they put it at 10 million. Because we all know that little shark card, ladies and gentlemen, and that is what they're going for when they launch these new DLCs. They want people to buy a shark card. So they strategically make the... How much money are you going to need to buy this business, upgrade it, and launch what you're trying to do? It's going to be 10 million. Which just so happens to be how much money you now get when you purchase a shark card. They don't want to make it over that because they know that's a stretch. People aren't going to want to spend $200 on a shark card. But they know people will, people will pay the $100 for the 10 million shark card so they can do this. So let's get into the Los Santos drug wars and how much is this going to be? Is it going to be that sweet 10 million? And why is it going to be that sweet 10 million? Let's go into it. So first and foremost, if you're thinking about DLCs and yeah, it's not 10 million. I've played DLCs that are worth more than that before. Sure. The Diamond Casino Resort DLC. Fun fact, if you were to buy everything in that DLC, you're looking at around 60 million in-game money. But no one's going to do that because not only did that include the penthouse fully upgraded with all of the furnishings, all the vehicles that came with that DLC, but it also included all of the weapons, all of the clothing, all of the jewelry, and no one's going to be buying all of that stuff. So how much is this Los Santos Drug Wars going to cost? Well, Rockstars themselves have said this is going to be a two-part update, a massive two-part update. So we have the initial cost, which is what I'm going to talk about in this video today. That's going to be the amount of money that you're going to need to buy this business and upgrade it and just really just start playing this DLC with the business. So there's going to be that cost. And then there's also, they're going to trickle down. There's going to be tons of vehicles that they're going to release with this update that are going to trickle down over the next two, three months. And then at some point, either a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, there's going to be the second part to this update, which will most likely be as big as the first part of this update. So you look at it, an initial big sum, then a lot of trickle down money in the middle, then another big sum at the end. So first of all, let's talk, we'll talk about the entire thing and how much the entire DLC is going to cost. But first of all, the initial release, the, the release that is happening literally in 24 hours from now almost. How much money are we going to need? So obviously, having looked back at the other businesses, I think the initial, first and foremost, what is this? It is creating and selling psychedelics, ladies and gentlemen. That is what this new DLC is. And it's actually going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. But what are the businesses we're going to need to pay a hard-earned cash on? So they've said with this business, there is a lab and a massive rolling chemistry set. So when I read that, that is the same as the bunker and the mobile operations center. So first things first, we're going to have to buy the lab. How much is the lab going to cost? I'm assuming there's going to be multiple labs throughout the entire map, just like there is for almost every business in this game. But I don't know the exact price, but I can promise you the lab itself, depending on which location that you purchase this and fully upgrading it. <laughs> Listen, if I was a betting man, I would say you guessed it, it's going to be around 5 million. Now that's just for the lab. Then we talk about the second part. You don't necessarily need this second part, but it's going to be part of the DLC and everyone's going to want it, which is going to be the massive rolling chemistry set that's going to be the addition to this lab. And I can almost promise you to purchase this massive rolling chemistry set and fully upgrade it. You guessed it, you're going to be looking at around 5 million. Now, as we've seen in some of the pictures, it starts off very Breaking Bad. You've got the little trailer looking thing, or camper van, I should say. And then you have the brocade, which has been fully upgraded. Does that show us the two different stages? Because this game, or DLC, I should say, they've also, Rockstar has said that this is going to be something that you can upgrade over time. So I'm thinking the more you play the game, the more experience, I should say, that you get from this business. So the more you play in this business, the more experience you get, you'll be able to unlock more and more things. It's not going to be something that you can just buy initially right off the bat. You're going to have to continuously work at this lab and do sales and research and stuff like that. And eventually you'll be able to unlock more and more things. Maybe you start off with this small camper van and then once you've done some missions, you can upgrade to the brocade. But again, we're talking about the initial, the initial launch of this DLC. How much money are you going to need? So once again, I feel confident saying 10 million 
is going to be how much money you're going to need to purchase the lab, fully upgrade it, get the massive rolling chemistry set on the go as well, and fully upgrade that. Now, keep in mind, this does not include the vehicles. And a lot of you are going to want to purchase the vehicles. Some of you don't care about the vehicles. If you just want the psychedelics lab, I'm saying 10 million. Now, they're most likely going to release around five cars in addition to the lab the first day of release. So you're looking at anywhere from a million to two million, maybe more. They haven't released a $3 million car in this game yet. So is it going to be during this? I doubt it, but they could. But I think all in all, if you wanted to purchase all the cars that come with this DLC, you're looking at an additional 10 million. And that is going to be just the initial launch. That is going to be to fully upgrade the lab and the businesses and to purchase all the vehicles. Everything that comes out during this launch, you're looking at 20 million. But if you just want to launch the business and start playing the business and making money from the business, you're looking at 10 million, obviously the price of a shark card. Now, as I said, this is a two part update. So you have the initial 10 million for the business, the 10 million worth of cars, and then there's gonna be a bunch of other cars that are gonna come out in between, which I'm guessing is gonna cost you again about 10 million. And then you're gonna have the end game, the end part of this, the second part of the update, which is most likely going to come out with an additional maybe business or upgrades or something like that. And obviously with some more vehicles. And you're probably looking at the end of this to be another 20 million. So I think the entire DLC is going to be worth around 50 million. And that doesn't include the weapons that are going to be coming with this, the tattoos, the clothing. I think this DLC will be closer to the Diamond Casino in all honesty. As far as price... I think because it's a two-part DLC, they haven't done this before, it's going to be stretched out around three or four months. And all in all, if you want everything in this entire DLC for the entire three months, I think you're looking around 50, 60 million. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about how much money do you need basically in like 24, 48 hours from now when this game launches, when this new DLC comes out, how much money you're going to need if you just want to purchase the business and fully upgrade it and get the rolling chemistry set. I'm saying you can feel comfortable with 10 million. If you also want to buy the cars that come with it, I would say 20 million. So again, to round it all up, if you want to start creating and selling psychedelics and rolling around in your chemistry set, I think you can feel comfortable with the 10 million. If you want to buy all the, ve buy, buy all the vehicles that come with it as well, you're looking at another 10 million. So all in all, 20 million. Now, this is not going to include all of the updates. They're going to come out over the next few months. The game, they've already told us. Rockstar has already told us. It's got experiential updates upgrades which means we're not going to be able to upgrade everything initially off the bat it's going to be over time the more we progress with this business the more we'll be able to upgrade it so those prices i couldn't tell you obviously there's going to be some holiday stuff as well that's going to be coming out we're not sure how much that's going to cost but you know there's going to be outfits and vehicles and things like that but i feel confident if you just want to jump into this dlc have 10 million in the bank you should be good to go so you guys you have like 24 48 hours get out there grind make sure you are doing the bunker missions because that is currently double pay the video that's been playing in the back background um, of this video is actually a bunker mission that I did yesterday so you can go check out the video the video just before this one on the channel uh, skip to 19 minutes if you want to see this part that's been playing on screen right here um, but yeah that was in a public lobby solo it was a bloody nightmare but we got it um, but yeah, make sure you guys are doing bunker missions and things like that. Let me know in the comment section down below how much money you think you're going to need for this DLC. And make sure to give us some reasons why so other people that are watching this video can see your reasoning behind it. But all in all, I feel incredibly confident. Not only have the past businesses been able to be up and running and fully upgraded with 10 million, but also the idea of the shark card now being worth 10 million. Rockstar is going to want people to be like, okay, how can I, if I'm jumping into this game right now, I haven't played in a while, there's a new DLC, it's worth 10 million, the shark card's worth 10 million, they want you to buy the shark card, they're not going to go over that or under that, they want you to spend that. So I'm guessing 10 million is the exact sweet spot. But obviously, if you want the additional vehicles, that's going to be another 10 million, but they don't care about that because that's just literally fun stuff. You don't need those vehicles in order to play the DLC which is the business, which is going to be 10 million. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe, turn notifications on, because I will be definitely purchasing all of the upgrades for this business so you guys don't have to. I'm talking about the weapons, the vehicles, because you know there's going to be some great stuff and there's going to be some awful stuff. So I'm going to buy them, test them all out for you guys in the next few days, 
so you can watch and see if you think they're worth it or not. And we're also going to be grinding, trying to figure out the easiest way to do these businesses. Like, <laughs> you know, that's what I'm all about. Making money easy, ladies and gentlemen. So stick around for that. I hope to see you guys then, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!